This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm here with the main man, the Wanderer, Jordan Reynolds. How are you, bro? I know that you're going to be a very, very happy man this week, ready to lace those gloves up once again and get back in the ring on what is a, a really, really good night of boxing come Saturday night. Mate, what a card to be on. I just can't wait to get stuck in and set about the geezer, mate. I'm, uh, I'm nearly relieved. I'm nearly there. A few more days, mate, and we get to step in the ring. It's been a, been a year now, so... See, we caught up a couple of weeks ago and you spoke about the frustrations of everything that had gone on, like you say, nearly a year. Um, just first-hand for you, having to deal with that, and we speak to a lot of boxers now where you know they've had this time out and it's been really difficult for them to get back in the ring. Obviously, you've joined up with Joe Calzaghi and Darren Barker. You must feel like you're sort of on the right path now and things are sort of starting to get back in your stride again. 100% with, like, listen, it's life, mate. There's always setbacks, there's always negativity, there's always drama and trauma one on mate but we just suck it up and push on forward and I've done that and I've come out the other side and now you know I'm with Darren with Joe on a matchroom show talking to Mr Parsons like I've made it <laughs> but now do you know what I'm saying like, it's all good mate like, I just uh, I've just kept my I've kept my nut down mate I've kept my nut down I kept working hard and doors are starting to open now this is like an audition I feel like I've sort of I've started my career again now and this is it now I can start start taking off Let's talk a little bit about yourself and the tickets you've sold for this, because obviously we monitor your socials very closely and I see the little promo video that's come out of all the Luton boys ready to go. I mean, that's another thing as well that I think we should point out how important it is, is look, when we've got big ticket sellers and good personalities like yourself, you know, it shows that there is that sort of reason for you to be in there on these big cards and what, you've got how many people come in on, on Saturday night? Yeah, we've done about, I think we've done four or five hundred lads. Which is oh, that is serious. Uh, yeah, so I mean, listen, word of mouth, mate. I made a few phone calls. This is no like TV presence and like things like that, mate. My own little media, a few phone calls, word of mouth to a few lads. We will round up the lads and then we're coming down. So, mate, it's ledge. Like, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of love, man. Like, and everyone knows me around my town and up and down. Like, I, I get on with everyone, mate. I, I network and collaborate, and we just yeah, mate. So uh, to do that amount of tickets. We're not boxing for a year and having no media. I'm grateful, mate. In terms of yourself and people who maybe haven't watched you before, what can we expect to see on Saturday night? Obviously, a bit of time out of the ring, so maybe just shaking off the cobwebs a little bit, which is fair enough. But um, what can we expect to see? You know, describe your style for the viewers. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a decorated amateur, man. I've had over 100 amateur fights, but I'm looking just, to, man. I'm looking to get out of there, work part of my job, man, get just and deal with the geezer, mate. I don't know about this ring rust stuff, to be fair. Like, I have a bit of ring rust, but I've been sparring well in the gym, mate. I'm flying, so I just want to get out there and set about him. So as I get him out and get, if I can get him out of there in happy days and then get out again in December, or November, come 5-0 by the end of the year. Last one from me. Last time we spoke, we spoke about sort of the possibilities of AJ Fury happening. I think there was always a lingering doubt, as it always is when that fight is discussed. But for you now, obviously, we've seen Tyson Fury has to be out towards the end of the year. He fights Derek Chisora. Your thoughts on the fight? Yeah, look, maybe it's just uh, an active, an active recovery fight for him. But Derek, listen, Derek's game, mate. I know, I don't want to see it. it was it they booked each other twice now? They, do you know what I mean? So, it is what it is, mate. Is what it is. He's probably just keeping active and hopefully a big fight either against AJ or Utic in the new year. Jordan, top man, just a final message for the people on Boxing Social ahead of your fight on Saturday night and why they should get behind the Wanderer. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you tune in this Saturday. Get behind me, get behind Boxing Social and all the people who are backing me. We're going to put on a big show. I'm coming for that. I'm looking, I'm, I'm out for the hunt, mate. It's been a year now, so and you, might, you might, uh, might have a bit of Andrew Tate and Danny Dyer there. You never know, so. Top man, thank you very much.